Hey, what's going on guys? My name is Zeke and welcome back to another Advanced Warfare Tips and Tricks video. Now in this video guys, we're going to be talking about the AK-12 Elite version, the finger trap. So, I'm going to leave the image of the finger trap right now on the screen. So as you can see guys, this weapon has a plus 3 handling increasement. No reductions in the stats at all, which makes this weapon very... Um, like which makes this weapon pretty good but as you can see it says that no attachments allowed no under barrel uh, I know I don't know like no um, sights allowed it's just handling increasement now that's why most of the people think that this weapon is really really useless and that it doesn't even deserve an elite spot or place so let's start off with this guys so why, what does mean elite weapons? Elite weapons means a special camo on the weapon itself and a three increasements in the, uh, in the weapon stats. It's not always going to be a, uh, a decreasement, not necessarily three decreasements or reductions, but there is always going to be a three increasements in the bars or in the stats of the weapon. Now, as you can see, this weapon has a wooden, such a classic camo, which I really, really do like, guys. But the thing is, I don't have this weapon. That's number one. And number two, that even if I would have this weapon, I wouldn't use it because, you know, using an assault rifle that has more handling or less uh, hip fire spread is just, is just useless, you know. So what I would do, guys, for example, let's say um, I want to have a class. Uh, with AK uh, with an AK-12 that has no attachments and just fully you know go on perks and go on score streaks and stuff like that then I would go with the finger trap because I can't have any attachments on it but I do have a plus three hand handling rather than just using the normal AK-12 which doesn't have which doesn't have the plus uh, three handling so that's a cool thing now I really feel sorry that this camo is on this variant because this is a pretty pretty useless variant but you know, you could still go with the without the attachments and just try it out, but it's definitely not so good. Maybe the hip fire will just uh, show up a little bit, but you know, with the with assault rifles, you don't really hip fire that much. So uh, now my recommended setup with this weapon is pretty simple. So you pick up the finger trap and then we start off with the perks. So I've gone for the lightweight and. Um, you know, for perk agreed one, that's it. Uh, then we have peripherals and blind eye, um, because uh, blind eye actually makes you. I don't. I think a blind eye actually um, doesn't let you show up on enemy uh, AI score streaks except the UAV. And peripherals increase your minimap coverage, and lightweight guys, as I said, uh, increases your. Uh, movement speed, which is pretty pretty good, and always I always use the lightweight guys. It's probably the best perk out of perk one greed. And uh, so let's count. We've got two perks in perk greed one, two perks in perk greed two. To have two perks in one greed, we actually need a um, what's called the uh, wild card guys. The wild card, and I just forgot it there. So two wild cards plus four perks plus the weapon. So already seven pieces right there. Now also toughness and scavengers. Toughness basically makes uh, less flinch when you're being shot at, and scavenger basically allows you to replenish ammo from dead bodies. So that's plus two for um, uh, for the perks. So in total of nine points used up, and then with the wild card ten points. So ten points used up and three points for the score streaks. Now you could go with uh, two score streaks and. Uh, use uh, a secondary weapon and even an attachment for it or you could use just one score streak you know you can just mix up things over there you could use just one perk in perk greed 2 or perk greed 3 and just mix up things like that but like I said guys this is not a bad weapon but this is not a good weapon either this is a weapon that nobody uses that's that's how it's say now people don't use it not because it's bad not because it's good it's just because it, you can't just have any attachments on the weapon to make it better. So you guys, I'm just going to make that clear for you. No, this weapon is not bad. So just stay with that because 
I wouldn't call AK-12 bad, you know, when you start up on the Prestige, you use the AK-12 without any attachments, and it's not bad, but this AK-12 is better without the AK-12 without attachments when you Prestige, because you have plus 3 handling, and that's a little bit of an increase in there, and plus the cool camo, I guess, just makes you a little bit more happier, guys, but I hope you enjoyed this Advanced Warfare Tips and Tricks video, I'll leave the link of the in the description for all my Advanced Warfare Tips and Tricks video, guys, so you can check out some of them. This was episode number 13, guys, so if you enjoyed, leave a like, of course, and I will catch you next time. Peace out.